everybody and welcome back to another video so today I actually have some really fun news and a little lesson a program update um, so to start off I actually should have an application form in the description of the video for my lesson program here at Redwood Creek Writing Facility aka RCRF first we have to find at least two trainers so preferably if you want to fill out the application we we need trainers first um, if that doesn't already explain what I'm doing today, I am going to be looking for lesson horses. Um, I did want to make this clear though, I am in no way a professional writer. I will not be a full-time trainer at the facility. I will, obviously I'll teach beginners and writing basics and things like that, but in no way am I professional or even good at teaching people how to do things. But I do love seeing kids learn to ride and being a part of that process, so that's why I do want to include a lesson program here. Anyway, moving on with the video. So, I'll be looking at five horses this week. Um, maybe bringing home one or two. As you saw in the first clip, I packed some leg wraps and some saddles along with other things and boots and helmet for the barn. Okay, enough of that. Now I'll be heading out to Steve's farm to go check out the first horse of the day. He's a 16 year old horse for beginner riders and they believe he's in off the track thoroughbred but they aren't quite sure since he was a rescue. Um, he's been doing lessons for about 6 years. He doesn't jump anymore and just does flat work but he is, it is said that he has great ground manners. Now that I'm at Steve's I'll go ahead and tack him up and show y'all some small clips of me riding him. He was actually a super good horse, a bit bouncy with the trot and the canter. Um, he's a little bit sensitive on the bit, I will say. He didn't spook at anything, he doesn't want to really want to go fast, he, just, he has a sweet personality and definitely wants to listen to his rider, but his gates are a little bit off and his confirmation isn't that great at all, so if people were going to bring him to a show, he wouldn't place well, like at all, actually. Um, but lesson horses are not all about showing, it's more about teaching students.
Um, he was just definitely not on the top of my list, but he's a very sweet and good boy, so he is definitely not off the list yet. Now I'm headed to Starshine Ranch, and actually I have two horses from Starshine. They are literally the best horses. Like, Starshine produces the best horses, best confirmation. Like, they are so well trained. Um, but I'll be trying Cherry. She is a nine-year-old knob sharper mare. She's been doing lessons for about two years now, so she's kind of a beginner in it, but I don't mind at all. It really just depends on the horse. Um, they said she can spook sometimes, but is pretty much broke for the most part. Um, it's just kind of part of her personality to be a little bit spooky. Um, but I decided, you know what, maybe she's not, maybe that's just a certain rider that, that happens. I'm not quite sure, but it's always worth a try. Um, so I headed out to Starshine and went ahead to go tack her up and get her ready for a short ride. Her trot and canter are so elegant and easy to ride, and she's literally just like a little angel in the paddock. Um, I didn't ride her in the arena because I do believe there's an event going on there right now. So they had me ride in a large round pin, which I didn't mind too much. I did not feel like I missed anything with her because they did tell me to go to Valadale Lake, I believe. It is, um, it's a little small cross country course they have there. It's not too far from Starshine, that's why they suggested I go try her out there. So I get her to jump a couple of things and it's sort of a new environment for me as well. So she can kind of see how to react and things like that, which I thought was really considerate of them to help me see as much as I can with the horse. I brought her out to the lake and she was actually very sweet and she did go over a couple of jumps. Um, her jumping position, it is not great at all, but that's not what I'm looking for right now. I'm not looking for a hunter. Um, I'm just trying to see if she will go over things, even if I make mistakes as a rider, because I'm not perfect, but I know lesson kids, especially beginners, are not perfect. and. Lesson horses need to be okay with things like that. Like, things are gonna go wrong, but as long as no one gets hurt in the process, I think that is the most important. And 
although she did spook. I'm sure y'all saw that. Um, she spooked. I'm not sure what she spooked at. And it wasn't... I would have ignored it if it was just like a small little like stop in the tracks or whatever. But no, she reared and she was kind of... I was very surprised I didn't slip out of the saddle. But I stayed on and we were okay. But I just kind of hopped off soon after that. I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to put myself in harm's way just to try a horse that spooks that badly. The third and last ride of the day, Pearl. Her name fits her so well, I can't even. She is a very beautiful Perlino Lusitano. She's great confirmation and she's 10 years old, it says on her sale poster. Um, it also says she's been doing lessons for three years now. Uh, she's gone to shows with four students, so she's a very successful lesson horse, I would say. Um, she's a lot more on the pricey side, so that is definitely something to notice, but she seems sweet just off of everything that I've seen on, like, social medias and such. I had a wonderful ride on her. I purposely made myself like ride on the wrong diagonal a couple of times, pick up the wrong lead in the wrong direction, just to see how she would react with this kind of stuff. Cause on her poster it says she's like perfect. And I'm like, no horse is ever perfect. There's normally something that I'm missing or people are hiding. Um, I was kind of wrong. I mean, she's very sweet. She doesn't, she kind of ignores mistakes for the most part, unless it's like a dramatic mistake. Um, I did get the chance to bring her over a couple of jumps. Her jumping position is not great whatsoever, but I don't think that matters too much. She's not a bred hunter. I'm sure she's bred for dressage as a Lusitano, but she is very sweet and she didn't fight the bit at all or anything like that. So I'm very, very glad I tried her.
It is actually three days later from whenever I tried the last three horses. Um, today I actually have a plan to go try two more and finish off the list. Um, it is really early in the morning right now, but I will be heading to Golden Leaf Stables to go try both of these horses. Um, they're both located there and I used to work at Golden Leaf, so I'm very familiar with the environment, everyone out there pretty much. So I will be headed out early, people know that I'm going to be there. I do have a show later in the day and I want to go out there early to not be in anyone's way. So the first horse I'm trying is Opal. She is a 13 year old Fjord mare. On her sale poster it says that she's been doing lessons for about 5 years now and go get this mare out of the paddock. They said that she'll be in there because that's where she's at night. So yeah, I'll, you guys will get to see me tack her up and ride her a little bit. some clips of my ride. The owner of the barn actually came out about 30 minutes into my ride and actually set up a couple of jumps for me which I was really happy that I got to take her over a few because she definitely seems like she could be in sort of like teach any level of kids or just people overall so I wanted to see if she could do a couple of jumps since my stable is more of a jumping and eventing stable I would say versus just dressage, but I'm sure we could teach dressage as well since we do have a couple of dressage horses, but we mostly do jumping and things like that. So I did want to see if she could jump and she could. She, she was really easy to get onto the right lead and to, ran to land on the right lead. She was very easy if I got the wrong diagonal and things like that. Very good on her saddle. Um, she's a very, very good horse. Although I do think 
Pearl might still be on the top of my list. About an hour later, I did stay out at the barn and decided I was going to try the other horse right then too. Her name is Jinx. She is a 9 year old paint horse mare. She's about 16.3 hands tall. And the first thing I noticed about her on her sale poster is that she's a beautiful gorilla color. Um, which actually, like I said, is kind of why I wanted to try her. I mean, she's stunning. Um, it does say she's pretty new to lessons, but I mean, that's okay. I mean, I get it. Even horses that are new to lessons can still be really good lesson horses. Um, I was informed she would make a great intermediate lesson horse. I don't know if that means she has a couple of flaws and they don't want to put a beginner on her. But, I mean, she's still worth looking into. So, yeah. Here are a couple of clips of me tacking her up and bringing her out to the arena again. And here are some clips of me riding her. She's so collected in the trot. I mean, it was super easy to ride her. The canter, she kept her head very low, which I was, it looked really nice, I will say. She'd be a great competitor in any sort of event, I would say. It really just depend on what the rider does. I think she'd make a great fit for anything. Um, her, yeah, her gates are super smooth. She has very good manners, and whenever I got on, she didn't walk off. She waited until I was ready to walk on. Yeah, she's a really good horse. She did pull in the bit a little bit, but it's not an awful problem to fix, so she's very lovely. The owner did come out and set a couple more jumps up for me, and that included a couple of cross-country jumps. Since they were going to have a show later that day, they were already setting up a couple of that stuff and they allowed me to go over a few just to go ahead and try her out. She is a lovely jumper I will say, absolutely amazing and I'm not even gonna lie, her confirmation is great and I can very much see myself buying another paint horse from whatever breeder she came from in the future. I mean she is so pretty and has great manners, great training, everything like that. So yeah, she is definitely somewhere on the top of my list now. That'll be it for today, so go ahead and comment anything that you want an upcoming video of or any type of content that you're looking for, but thank you all for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Um, let me know what y'all want in the future and I'll see y'all in the next video.